Hello, and welcome to another video in our series on aquaponics. Today, I'd like to discuss adding pet store fish to your aquaponics system without destroying the delicate ecosystem that's already in place. Some of you, who are already familiar with keeping fish, will undoubtedly be aware of a few of the steps I'm about to show you. That being said, there are a few subtle differences when adding to an aquaponics system versus adding to your standard home aquarium. As always, you're going to want to take your fresh batch of fish and float it in the water for a while to allow the two temperatures to come together. This helps prevent startling your fish or shocking them when they enter either significantly warmer or significantly colder waters. I'm going to let these fish float for about 20 minutes to adjust the temperature. As you can see from the fog inside the bag with the new fish, there is a definite difference in the two temperatures. By floating this bag, we allow those two water temperatures to come closer together before transporting the fish from one to the other. Aside from the temperature difference, there's also bound to be a difference in the chemical structure of the water. In the fish tanks at the store, these fish will often be treated with various chemicals just to keep them healthy and fresh so that when they're consumed by other fish in similar environments, they're the best possible food available. Now we don't necessarily want those chemicals in our fish tank affecting the nature of our plants or possibly going into the food that we, as humans, are going to consume. In order to eliminate that cross-contamination, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the water that came from the pet store to some water that was already in my fish tank and allow the fish to swim around in there and have sort of a half and half so that they become accustomed to a slightly different water before they get transferred completely into the aquaponics tanks. Hopefully by doing this I'll reduce the overall stress that the fish have to go through as they're getting accustomed to their new environment. Okay, now that we've adjusted the temperature of the water inside the bag, it's time to pour out the fish. I've found a lot of times these fish love to get caught in the corner and I always worry about suffocation. So what I do is I cut the corner off of the bag and then pour them out through it. And I found this eliminates fish getting caught in the corner. Here again I want to take a few moments to allow the fish to get more comfortable with the changes to their water. Once they've had some time to do that, I'll transfer them into the main tanks. Once the fish have adjusted to the new state of the water, you can begin moving them to your tanks. The goal is still to avoid the contamination with the chemicals, so you don't want to move any of this water over to your fish tank. I like to use the net and try and be as gentle as I can. Happy productive fish! So, basically, that's all you need to worry about when you're adding pet store fish to your aquaponics system. First, make sure you're buying healthy fish. Second, let the water temperature adjust so they're equal. Third, place the fish into a combination of the two waters and allow them to adjust. And finally, fourth, net the fish out and put them in, allowing no water transfer to stop any chemicals from entering your aquaponic system. If you follow these four simple steps, your fish will survive, your plants will be happy, and you'll be enjoying a thriving garden in no time at all. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.